welcome back. Okay, today I'm going to have a look at the energy surrounding if you're in no contact specifically. I've been asked this question a lot recently. Why, why won't they just, or, you know, why won't they just speak to me? Um, just speak, you know, just even acknowledge, acknowledge me. So I'm going to have a, look at, a quick look at that. Let's have a look. Ah, right. Well, they're in a very selfish energy. Um... Yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah, I feel this person today that you're connected into has almost moved on to something else. Okay. I feel with your person today, this person is very much my way or the highway. Okay. This person could be older than you. They could be Aries. But it's all about them. Okay, this person is all about them. I feel today you haven't heard from this person because I feel they're in a bit of a fantasy land, actually. Okay, I feel they've almost blocked you. Um, they're unreachable, I just heard. And they're very, very stuck on their version of events. But with regard to their energy, they, as long as their own needs are being met, um, as long as they're getting what they want, they're quite happy, okay? And I feel that is why you have not heard from this person. They are totally and utterly focused on their own needs. I do feel, you know, today that this person you're connected into, I would say, has a habit of... Um, going from relationship to relationship and almost projecting a fairy tale that never quite happens. I feel that's what they're doing again now, okay? When they've tired of a situation, they just cut somebody out. You know, they put this wall up, this armour. They're very rigid, extremely inflexible. But I do just feel that to get what they want in life, they, they open up so much, but there's always a little bit of this person that you never quite know what's going on, okay? I feel they keep people in their, I was gonna say lair then, that sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? But I feel they keep people in their lair because of their fake, their fake projections. They, they paint this happy ever after, you know, I'm just going to use the saying, two point foo, two point foo, two point four children and a picket fence. Okay, but it's la la land. All right. I feel in their environment at the moment, what you're seeing or what you're hearing possibly is that they're okay and they've got this perfect kind of fairy tale going on. But that's not what I'm feeling today. I'm not feeling that at all today. Okay, let's see why else they're not in contact. Let's see why else they're not speaking. We'll go a bit deeper into our environment actually today. I just heard the word fake, 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 fake. They could have surrounded themselves with fake people. Okay, just while I'm shuffling, if you'd like a reading, if you just click on the title, it's all in the description box and the free relationship support as well. If you like the content, if you wouldn't mind, huh, yeah, that's interesting. If you wouldn't mind subscribing, liking and hitting that notification bell thingy. Okay. Ah. No, all is not perfect in that little world at the moment. Okay. In a nutshell, this person always does what's best for them. They always put their own needs first. All right, I think they are just in um, woo-woo land. I mean, it's nice we're all in woo-woo land as far as I'm concerned, but, you know, they don't have any... It's not even morals, really. You know, as long as their emotional needs are met, their physical needs, then they're happy. But it's, it's a very selfish energy. They do exactly what's best for their heart. Okay, they do exactly what's best for them at any given moment, on any given day, okay? I will say, though, that what's come out here is they're very frightened of being left. Now, this does not excuse this behaviour in any shape or form, because if you have been in this relationship 
and it is for you and you've lived with somebody who's always dangled a carrot you know oh well when we get this then we can do this or when we go here then we can have this but it never quite happens that is not a nice place to be but one of the reasons I've got here with your person is because they're frightened of being abandoned will you leave me like the others Okay, I feel that's a really big reason today why they do project. They want the it's almost like they want the happy family. They want the picket fence. They want, you know, all of that. So they're projecting what they want. They tell you that's what they want. You probably go for that. But at the back of it all, they are still very, very much protecting themselves it's almost as if they project the future to keep you but the moment the future actually morphs into the present they're like this again or they leave okay they do feel the way they've treated you was wrong so again like I say, I'm going a bit deeper into this environment I feel they do regret putting barriers up okay it, it, it's almost as if they just detach you know they, they just detach they put these huge big barriers up and they just go cold like a like a rock they know that was wrong though okay why why do they think why do they think that was wrong they blamed you. Yeah. Oh gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Very simple. They blamed you for what happened in the past. Okay. They didn't, they've not taken accountability. Um, definitely with this card in the reverse, I can see that there hasn't been an opportunity to, to talk about this or, or for you to be able to move on. They just completely rammed down those shutters built a great big brick wall um, they regret blaming you they regret not taking accountability okay but do you know what with this card and this one and this they've got really low self-esteem if it's any consolation to you um, again you shouldn't tolerate any behavior that makes you feel unsafe or not loved or not worthy um, they're projecting out that they're projecting out that they have got very, very low self-esteem. Um, I do feel this person wanted the happy ever after. I do feel they, they'd they like to have that. It's probably, with this card here, something to do with their childhood. Again, not excusable. You know, we can all have... Um, things that happen in childhood that aren't, aren't how they should be or, you know, conformers, either, you know, you push too much to achieve or you're emotionally neglected. You know, there's a whole raft of things in childhood and it's not an excuse. But for me today, this is what I'm really getting, that they could also have had a very strong father figure who was um, unapproachable, unemotional and overly strict okay I feel your person has elements of people pleasing now bear with me this probably sounds a bit bonkers but I'm, I'm hearing they have an element of people pleasing where they want to to have this happy home and one-to-one -one relationship and like they project it out and they want it, but then they can't do it. They can't do it. Um, like I say, specifically, I feel there was a father figure in their environment who was quite a cold person, critical, very, very critical. Okay, extremely critical. But they regret blaming you. They regret blaming you for the past. Um, they regret the way they treated you in the past. They regret not giving you an opportunity 
to grow as much as you should have done. I think this person, you know, my way or the highway, you could have had some really good ideas I just heard or some really good thoughts or, or plans, but you were almost shot down in flames, okay? I just feel that your person was caught, uh, just wanted to play house. You know, like two children play house when you're growing up, right? But obviously then you, you grow up and you mature. It's almost like your person wanted to play house, but nothing grew. I feel your person could have suffocated you at times with their overbearing nature, okay? Very overbearing at times. But their key energy is, will you leave me like the others? And it's definitely got something to do with a family situation here. Okay, something happened in your person's family. Um, there could have been a divorce or, you know, just a fracture within the family. But today I'm going with it. It's got something to do with a male the father, the, or the main male in that upbringing, whoever this was, whether it was a father or, you know, it could have been anyone, but it was the main male that should have nurtured them more that didn't. So your person will only go so far. They have the happy ever after in their head, but when they get it, they can't maintain it. And then I feel they follow the characteristics of this other person and then blame. And then they blame you. They blamed you. Let's see what's going on in their environment at the moment, please. Okay, well, they're wearing a false mask in their environment, they're doing it again, I think that's all they do. It's sad, it's sad in a way, because I feel they desperately want it, but I just think this energy today, unless someone was willing to be accountable to your face, and I feel you were willing to have this conversation, you probably even realised something had happened in the past, and this was part of the problem, but your person is very, very, can be very, very cold. When you actually get to the underbelly of what their problem is, okay, when you break through their mask and you realise that everything that they were saying was going to happen was really, in fact, just a bit of a fantasy in their head. I feel when you break through all of this and get to their underbelly they they desperately want to make better choices in their life they want to do things the right way um, they want to be happier but they're pretending and they're deluded and they're gaslighting okay they don't show their true feelings it's a mask and I think if this is your reading today that that's been really hard because the person you fell in love with here was extremely emotional. You thought your wishes had all come true. You thought this was a lifetime relationship. You had met the one, but I do feel they were mirroring your behaviours almost to, 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 to be like you. And they, they wanted that, but then it's just a mask. And then you've been left with the no contact, what the hell happened here? But then I, I'm just hearing to say to you that it's hard because you, you've you been second guessing yourself on who this person ever was because there was love in the beginning or was it love? It's been really, really messy. Messy time for you. You know, I hope this reading I'm not feeling it's a particular reconciliation today. I feel it's just a an energetic reading on on how somebody you're connected in desperately wants happy ever after, but they can't do it. And their version of happy ever after 
is a mask. Now where they are now is I feel they're repeating the pattern, okay? They've started out with the same energy of making better choices or appearing to make better choices or appearing to be functioning properly. But sat in the present is not showing true feelings and hiding their personality and pretending, which is what this is. I feel for some of you, you could have even had to have pretended at some point in your relationship with them that everything was okay. Okay, but behind closed doors, it was a bit of a hot mess. But this person slips in and out of this energy. Very see it very clearly. They've done it with you. And they're doing it in their environment now where they're slipping in and out of, I am on this. I, I am, you know, going to be good to you. But then they slip into who they really are. Because they can't keep it up forever. Excuse me. Hairs all over my face. Okay, let's have one more of the environment, please. Yeah. You know, if you know that they met somebody new, whether it is third party romance or they've just got a new friend group, you know, a new situation, it doesn't always have to be romance. They are doing exactly the same thing. They've gone to an, into this new situation or wherever they are now saying, yeah, um, I'm making some brilliant choices. We can do this, this and this. Um, loads of plans. But like I said, sat in the middle is the mask. They're just doing the same. You know, unless they... I think unless they actually accept it. I mean, they do accept that they've treated you wrong. They do know that. But sometimes people will be too stubborn to come forward with the information. Yeah, this is your energy. From death comes rebirth. I don't mean physical death, but from this ending comes rebirth for you. You're going into a stage of rebirth. Yeah, you are actually... Other people, whether you know it or not, are finding your energy very attractive at the moment. So look out for other people coming into your environment. Ah, the past returns for a time. Okay, let's have a look at that. So yeah, the past has popped up here. Possibly because you'll move on. Okay, want to tell you the truth. Why? No, I'm not convinced. <laughs> I'm not convinced here. Let's... Right, okay. The past has popped back in. Okay, that's the that card I got out. The past is coming for a while. Someone from your past, is, past person, wants to tell you the truth. And they feel like a part of me is missing without you. But the challenges they're experiencing at the moment, I've just clarified, they're in the five of pentacles energy. So it is a question of, you'll know your story. Are they telling the truth? If they're in the five of pentacles, yes. They could be feeling very spiritually empty now. You know, they could have gone one step too far with all these kind of fake, fake situations that never come to pass. They could be feeling very empty emotionally. However, what I'm getting on a predictive level with these cards is that there is somebody in their environment who is causing them a lot of trouble around money. Okay, there's a lot of gossip in your person's environment about something on the physical, whether it's property, money or time. Um, your person is feeling excluded. It's almost like something's come to light. Possibly their past has caught up with them. Okay, because they are wearing a false mask in the situation they're in at the moment. 
I feel that's what this is about. Okay, yeah, there's a possibility they will come back in. Okay, but at the bottom of all of this, yeah, they're going to walk away from where they are, but at the bottom of it is the fact that they've either got financial problems or they're being excluded from something. Um, and there's somebody, I feel, okay, around them that is very sceptical of them, that doesn't trust them. It's almost like all these dreams and wishes and fakeness in the past is catching up with them, okay? I feel that is possibly one of the reasons they're going to come back in to you because there is an air sign that they're connected into that is extremely sceptical and doesn't almost believe a word they're saying. Yeah, it's almost as if they don't believe a word your person's saying and they're about to strike and it's got something to do with your person could even be oosted out of a property, um, lose money with the five of pentacles, but it's not good. Okay, there's a lot of um, turmoil. Predictively, if that's not in now, I feel it's coming in for them and I feel that will then trigger them, possibly to return but it it only says for a time because i don't feel you will accept this i don't feel you will accept it let me just get some advice for you now before we wrap this up yeah advice for you their energy is coming as a knight of cups reversed it's an illusion it is somebody who love bonds. It is somebody who fakes. It is somebody who tells lies. They, it is specifically though, which is what we've got earlier in this, it's someone with a very fragile sense of identity. That goes back to what I was saying earlier on in this reading. So the advice really is that they're still going to bring in that energy. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're going to come back in. They've got the. Basically, you're being sort of asked to do what you're doing, keep looking towards your future. Okay. Go out with your friends, keep your social life up. If you've started to make new friends, that is going to progress. If you're working on something, especially if it's an entrepreneurial business, you are going to grow. You could be waiting for something to come in. It is coming. This past person still has poor boundaries, low self-esteem, okay? And... For you with this in reverse, it just talks of unrequited love. But I feel that is you not going any further. I see it coming in, I see the energy coming in, and I see you pushing it back. Okay, so I hope that's helped someone today. If it's your reading, take you know, take good care. Take good care of yourselves. And if you are the person where it's always been you know, future faked um, and all of that. I'm sending you all my love, okay? Things will get better. Um, there are nice people out there. That's all I'm going to say, if this is your reading today. Speak to you soon. Bye.